Hello everyone, my name is Lucas, and welcome to the first episode of What's Their Charisma Score, or WTCS for short. Um, we are a bi-weekly Pathfinder group based in Arizona. We get together every other Saturday and play for several hours at a time. Uh, it's possible in the future we may dabble in other games, such as Fallout, or we've talked about 2E. Um, we have done a Starfinder game in the past, so that may vary, but I think our base is going to be the 1E system. Each of our games will have its own title, so hopefully that will make it easier for you to follow along. Um, hopefully this podcast will continue for a long time. The group itself has been around for several years. Um, I'm starting this podcast just as a fun way of recording our game sessions. Um, I figured many people out there might be interested in listening to our group, and so I decided to share. Um, we have to joke and kid around, and if you take any offense to any of the things we say, please know it is only meant in jest, and that we apologize ahead of time. Um, this is my episode zero, so today I will be uh, reading our adventure background, and soon after I'll be uploading our first episode of the Something Wicked This Way Comes game. I also wanted to make sure I mentioned that we play for several hours at a time, and I will be releasing two episodes a week. One of our gaming sessions is roughly three weeks worth of episodes, so just to give you kind of a context for how the time frame is going to work out on the episode releases, I will try to make those releases on the same days every week. However, I cannot promise that as I do work a day job. Um, a quick warning, this is a evil campaign, so there may be some scenes of violence, evil, possibly cannibalism. Um, I know one of our players, for example, aspires to be a vampire. Another aspires to be a necromancer. One was a cannibal, but it has since been changed. You'll find out as the story goes. And other morally wrong choices, so please be aware of that going in. Um, if you'd like to reach out to the show, you can email the show at wtcspod at gmail.com or myself personally at 2calusa at gmail.com. That is the number 2, K-I-L-U-S-A at gmail.com. Um, we look forward to hearing from you guys. Hope you will enjoy the show. Adventure Background in the southwest corner of last wall lies Rosler's Coffer, a town as battered and resilient as the stoic souls that call it home. Named for the once celebrated Irvin Rosler, this town has weathered the storm of time, surviving skirmishes with orc tribes and maintaining a fragile peace on a front line fraught with danger. Despite its importance to last wall, for border establishments and resource production, life in Rossler's Coffer has been anything but secure or prosperous for its inhabitants. The assaults from the brutal, twisted nail tribe have left deep scars in the town and its people. Buildings burn, families torn apart, and a once vibrant community left to pick up the pieces of relentless raids. With the knights of Lastwall too preoccupied with larger threats and the Red Reaver's reign of terror from the nearby monastery, many in Rosler's coffer feel abandoned and resentful. The recent defeat of the Red Reaver by Pathfinder agents has done little to ease the bitterness that years of neglect and hardship have fermented. Now, as Rosler's coffer attempts to rise from the ashes once more, it has become a breeding ground for the ambitious and the desperate. Among the returning residents, traders, and pilgrims, a few opportunistic individuals see the town's continued strife as a chance to ascend from their lowly status. They are the disenfranchised, the overlooked, and the cunning, looking to exploit the town's desperate need for stability and the wealth of its occasional visitors. Despite their varied backgrounds, Adventurers find common ground in their desire to exploit the chaos that has become a constant in Rosler's coffer. They are united not by heroism or a sense of duty, but by ambition, resentment, and a ruthless drive to ensure that when the dust settles, they will be the ones standing atop the ruins, wealthier and more powerful than ever before. As they navigate the treacherous political and social landscape of a town on the brink, they must decide how far they are willing to go and what lines they are willing to cross to achieve their aims. In Rosler's Coffer, amidst the shadows of fallen heroes and the whispers of past glories, a new breed of adventure arises, one driven not by valor, but by the relentless pursuits of power and prosperity at any cost.